We are beginning with illegal dog fights right here in Houston. It's a brutal world that sometimes even stuns investigators. In these fights, dogs are injured, sometimes killed, all for the sake of entertainment. And tonight, Harris County is going after suspects seen in a video obtained only by 11 News reporter Brad Woodard. And we have to warn you, some of the pictures you'll see are disturbing. We were there when constables served the arrest warrants. Brad joins us live from Southeast Houston with a story you'll only see on 11 News. Brad, what have you learned? Well, Lucy, not only does the video provide an unprecedented glimpse into the world of street level dog fighting in Houston, it's the first time authorities here have had access to this kind of evidence to go on. Officers from Constable Precinct 6 have spent months identifying some of the faces seen in the video with the help of the Harris County Sheriff's Department. And tonight they took to the streets of Southeast Houston to track them down. This 16 year old with a felony record is among two people arrested tonight and others are likely to follow their actions allegedly documented in the video, which again, we must caution, you may find disturbing. Barely a stone's throw from the CUNY Homes housing project, just a few miles from the heart of downtown Houston. Thick brush gives way to a clearing, which until now, has harbored something you've probably heard about, but have never seen. Three, two, one. Something which in all likelihood, you will hope to never see again. Get up, brother. Get up, brother. Get up, brother. It just is so disturbing to me that young people think that this kind of activity is entertaining. Three, two, one. They have no regard for life. It is a glimpse into the darker side of the human spirit. Man's least admirable qualities captured on this videotape seized by the Harris County Sheriff's Department, investigated by the Precinct 6 Constable's Office, and now being prosecuted by the District Attorney's Office. Actually, the first time I tried to look at it, I left after about a minute. It was so disturbing. Television may be a visual medium, but it's the sounds of animals screaming in agony to the crowd's delight that most would find difficult to stomach. Some argue the only animals on display here are the humans themselves. As evidenced by the fact that some of the dogs had no desire to fight. There are instances in the videotape where the dogs are licking each other. They don't, they release them and they lick each other. They don't want to fight. Yet the handlers bring them back and get them pumped up to fight. It's not natural. Unnatural, but quite common. In the last month alone, the Harris County DA's office has filed charges in four dog fighting cases. Three years ago, it wasn't filing any. Authorities say street level dog fighting, like the fighting we're showing you in this report, has reached epidemic levels in some neighborhoods. <laughs> and it has as much to do with the quality of life in those neighborhoods as animal cruelty. And we go out and interview neighbors and stuff. They want to talk to us, but they're scared. They're, they're fearful because they see the violence is going on, they see the dog fighting, and they tell them, you know, we'll hurt you if you tell people about this. Break that leg. Among the many looming questions, how could someone become so desensitized to another's pain? It's particularly disturbing to me that all of these individuals are so young. Some are juveniles, and, and all of them are teenagers below 20, and that they would get such pleasure out of seeing this violence and that they have no regard for life, that is really troubling to me. Still more troubling, what else might they be capable of? Currently, the penalty for engaging in a dogfight here in Texas is up to a year behind bars, but that will change as of September 1st when it's increased to two years behind bars for those who are engaging in the dogfights and up to a year for those who are simply spectators. We're live in Southeast Houston, Brad Woodard, 11 News.